The nicer dicer. What is the nicer dicer? Well, it's the equivalent of using nearly 60 knives at once. Now, no matter how good you are with a knife, you'll be impressed by this. Originally, it was designed as an onion dicer. And you know what onions are. Sometimes they can be a pain in the eye. So, all you do is take your onion, cut it into half or cut it into four like that, if you want them really fine. If you do bolognese, if you do chilies, curries, soup, stews, one hand there, one hand there, don't push like a lunatic, just lean on the machine, and that is how quick it is to dice a bit of onion. So, if you want to do a whole onion, absolutely fantastic. It takes seconds. All the smell, all the odour, doesn't go all around your kitchen, it goes into the top. That is perfectly diced every single time. And I get quite impressed by this. Look at this. Every single piece is exactly the same size. There we are. Perfectly diced in every way. Now, a lot of people think that's easy because it's a harder fruit and drier veg. So, we're going to show you something like a tomato. Okay? The reason I use tomatoes, a lot of people do their own salsas. If you do a bolognese, absolutely brilliant. The only tip I can give you, always skin side down with a tomato, simply because you decorate your kitchen red and white otherwise. And uh, not everybody wants a red and white kitchen. So, for tomatoes, for a bolognese, for a salsa, if you do bruschetta, anything like that, just lean on the machine and that is a tomato diced perfectly. And again, if you want to add anything to it, as I lift it up, you'll notice it doesn't all fall out. So, if you want to add a bit of uh, onion to it, simply cut a piece of onion. You can do your salsa inside the machine like this. Simple to use, it'll be even easier to clean. And also, I'll show you this, look. The smaller you cut a piece, the smaller it comes out. So few pieces of cu cucumber like that. And again, if you want to do a salad, you want to put a mozzarella in here. Do mozzarella salad, feta cheese. It works the same way, and you've made a salad in the bowl, perfectly diced, and I'll show you. Turn it upside down, unclip it, and every single piece look perfectly diced. Now, if you want to leave that in there, there's a new refrigeration cap. Put that on the top, okay, and then just store it in the fridge. If you want to take it to work, kids take it to school, absolutely fine. But if I show you here how every single piece is perfectly diced there, look, it's fantastic. It takes all the time out of the preparation. Now, I have seen in the supermarkets, and I'm sure you have as well, that when you go and buy some carrots, okay, carrots are dead easy in here, but you go and buy them and they're duly in. You buy them in a little panet, and in the costas they're around about a, two, a euro, two euros. When you look inside it, it's actually one carrot, okay, sometimes two. So let me show you how to do it in here. And it's not about the size of your carrot, it's how you put it in, and I'm going to show you. If you stand your carrot up straight that way and just dig it in, all you do, lean on the carrot, how quick is that for a stir fry, okay? If you want to do dips, it's brilliant. I'll show you again, simple as that, all right? So you can julienne in your own food exactly the same way. And if you've ever been in a Chinese restaurant and had the duck before, they don't stand there when they bring their pancake rolls out with a little bit of cucumber, chopping the cucumber like that. Stand a piece of cucumber up in there, and watch that. How long would that take you to do with a knife? Look at that. Every single piece is perfectly diced. Is that not amazing? Now, as a machine here, if you want to do chips, to me, this is the quickest chipper you'll ever see. And I'll show you. Take a potato, okay? Now, the kids like the thin chips. So we'll show you the thin chips first, because they go to the, all the fast food places. Stand the potato up, and there's your chips. There's a rumour going round that there's a landlady on the cost of Bravo who can make two potatoes last a whole summer season using one of these. Look at that, you get absolutely loads of them, okay? Now, little chips, little blade. To change the blade, lift it up and pull it off. It's as easy as that. Remember, it's designed for men as well, so it does have to be simple. Small blade, small chips. Big blade, big chips. So if you like the old fish and chip shop chips, all you do is take a potato, like so. Now, if it's too high, all you do is cut a piece off. All right, we'll use that in a minute. Okay, stand it up inside the machine the same way and look at this for chips. You show me a machine that can make proper fish and chip shop chip any quicker than that. Every single one of them is perfectly diced. How amazing is that? Okay, now one of the hardest things for me to chop up with a knife is something like a leek. So we'll show you if anyone does their own soups, leek and potato, anything like that. So we'll take a piece of leek and we'll just chop a piece up. And you don't have to waste any as well. It's hard enough to cut it with this knife. Use these pieces as well, okay? Because a lot of people on the costas here grow their own vegetables at home. Parsley, coriander. Can't tell you what else they grow here as well. But look, leek, okay? We'll also put a bit of onion. In fact, we'll do a casserole for you. Look, I'll show you how quick it is. There's your onion. We'll put a bit of tomato in. We'll put a bit of potato in, yeah, like so. 
and we'll also put a little bit of carrot in, all right? So, for your soups, your stews, your casseroles, your chilies, it works the same way. So, first of all, the leek, that's how easy it is to dice the leek, or the top part, okay? There's your leek there, straight through the machine, simple as that, there's your onion. Remember, always skin side down, okay? Fantastic. There's your carrots, and by the way, safety, if I get my hand caught in there, it's not going to chop your hand off. If you've ever used one of the slices, you know and I know what they're like. There's your potato, it's fantastic. It takes all the time out of the preparation. You've made a casserole, a stew, chilli, curry in seconds. And I'll show you something, look at this. Turn it over, tap it out, and every piece is perfectly diced, as simple as that. Now the last thing we're going to show you is, as the weather's so beautiful here, and lots of people have fruit salads, how to do a fruit salad. So, if you're at home and you want to do a fruit salad, get your melons out, get your pears out, your pineapples. But I'll show you with an apple. Now, however wide you cut it, is how wide it will come out inside the machine. So if it's a big apple like this, just cut it into four, okay? Slightly smaller, cut it into three. Place it on the plate, and you're ready to use it. The only tip I can give you, is if you want to peel your apple, it's always easier to peel it before you put it in, and after, okay? How quick is that? How long would that take to do with a knife? And for coring, don't stand there coring it, just pull the pieces out if you don't want. But look at that, every piece perfectly diced, okay? Now there's as much engineering gone into the washing up of this as there is into the actual use of it. And it's German engineering, German technology. These pieces here are what we call polycarbonate. So, the minute you rinse them out in water, no smell, you'll notice it doesn't stain. Cleans it out like that, pop it in the dishwasher. These pieces here, food safe surgical stainless steel. By the way, they can't go blunt, they're not sharp in the first place. These work on thinness, not sharpness. Just chuck them in the dishwasher, okay? This piece here, well, when I first saw this piece, this was the bit that impressed me the most. I thought I had to get a knife or a toothbrush to clean it out. But, if it's the only thing you remember about this product, turn it round. There's two little lugs on the back. Instead of trying to get a toothbrush or a knife, just pull those towards you like that, turn it back, and then just push it out like that. If you want to wipe it clean, you can do. If you want to take it out from the dishwasher, just tap it, it comes out like that. That is pretty simple washing up. You might find that even a man on the odd occasion will wash this up, but we don't guarantee that bit, okay? It's an absolutely great idea. If it cleans quickly in my house, my wife will use it. If it doesn't, it'll stay in the cupboard, and that's the quickest thing I've had to clean up. So, what do you get? Well, you get a base that fits both blades. You get the small blade, which fits on there like so, with the small cup. You get the large blade and the large cup. You get the two storage container lids, like so, 